Slish has made it a long way since we last saw her. She is now level 9, about to be level 10 in a few quests here. We actually made it out of the very first starting area and down into Goldshire in the Eastvale logging camp. There we go, now we're level 10. From Goldshire, we did a few quests there. Northshire is where you saw us start from. We moved down the little path to Goldshire and then we managed our way out to Eastvale Lodging Camp. Now that we're level 10, we open up some more abilities, as this box says right down here about our talent points. So we're going to click there and check it out. Now, in the beginning, when I first was talking about hunters, I said about the three specs you can be. You can be Beast Mastery, Marks, or Survival. The better of the class for PvE would be Beast Mastery. There's some debate about it for dungeons as well. Beast Mastery is basically your pet does all your damage for you, takes your aggro for you, and you don't have to worry about anything. You just have to worry about attacking your target. Marksmanship is more relied on you to do your DPS, and survival is more of using your traps to do your DPS. Now we're actually going to go Beast Mastery, and we have one point because we just hit level 10. We're going to put that point into Improved Kill Command. Now Kill Command is going to increase our crit for our pet. And then you hit Learn when you're finished with that, and it will confirm it again. And it tells you when you're going to get your next talent point at. Another thing we actually opened up is our dungeon. Oh no, I'm sorry, we haven't opened that up. Our dungeon tool becomes available at level 15. PvP, we've opened up. So we can either queue for Warsaw Gold or Basin, but we're not going to worry about that. We'll actually wait till we hit level 15 and we're going to do our dungeon. We can join a guild now, because most guilds like to require you to be level 10 before you join them. So we're going to go ahead and whisper one of these people here. Alright, as I was saying about guild invites, you have to message an officer in one of the guilds or the guild master in order to join. Now when you do get an, ex an invitation to join, a little box like this is going to pop up. This is their guild name, Midnight Fire, that's their crest. Their level's 25. Now you can either join the guild or decline. So we're actually going to join the guild. Now, guilds didn't always have levels. This is something new they put in for Cataclysm. Basically, with guild levels, they get perks. So if you hit J on your keyboard, which is default, it'll bring up your guild thing. Here you'll see their news, which is our first guild tab. You'll see the latest guild perk you've earned. If it's not a level 25 guild, it usually has a bar where it's leveling. But it is a level 25 guild, so you don't get to see that. Now, we can go into rewards, and you earn rep with your guild by completing quests. This is something new as well. When you get to a certain rep, like, for example, Friendly. You get a guild tabard and it will increase your guild reputation. You can get up to Honored and you start getting things called Bind on Account Gear. It will increase your experience for killing monsters and completing quests. So this one does by 5%. You can also get it once you hit level 80 and you earn Justice Points to buy it with. Now, if you open up your spellbook by hitting P, which is the default, you can have you actually gain another little tab, and it's called All Guild Perks. Now, you're going to click on that, and you'll see all the guild perks you get. Some of the nice ones that you get is Mass Resurrection, which, if you're in a level 25 guild, that's the only way you can get it. You can actually resurrect all of the people in your party. You don't have to be a class that can do resurrection. You also get will Have Group Will Travel. Have group will travel basically makes you a summoning stone. So instead of going to a summoning stone, which we'll find out about these later when we do our first dungeon, you will actually be the summoning stone and you just cast it and it's a two hour cooldown which isn't too bad. Now that we're in a guild, you can see all this little chatter going on down here in our little chat box. These are all the players 
in the guild. You can ask people in your guild to help you do quests or dungeons, and if you have a really awesome guild, they'll do it for you. Another common thing guilds have is called Vent or TeamSpeak. Vent and TeamSpeak both allow you to talk to these other players. WoW does have a built-in game chat system where you can talk over the microphone, but it's not very popular, surprisingly. There's a lot of bugs involved in it, and people just don't want to mess with it. So you're going to find that people like Vent or TeamSpeak. There's a few others out there, but I'm not entirely sure what they're called. Okay, I'm going to explain add-ons to you while we take a flight path to Stormwind. Add-ons, we just had a mini patch, so I'm going to have some errors popping up. Add-ons make your life about a million times better. I'm just going to put that out. What we have here is we have X-Pearl. X-Pearl is my raid aggro add-on. It lets me know if I have aggro. It lets me customize my raid frames. That's this highlighted one. Then below that, we have Carbonite. Carbonite's this little mini map here, and it's also on the other side right here as my quest. It's a combined mini map quest helper. Like I said before, we have built-in quest helpers. But a lot of us are used to using old school stuff like Carbonite. So, I stayed with Carbonite. There's other quest helpers out there. As you can see, this is Carbonite airing out because there was a mini patch to fix problems. There's another quest helper out there. I'm not entirely sure of its name. But you can find these on curse.com and such. Just search up Quest Helper in their little search box and you'll find it. Carbonite also has an, another pretty cool feature. It has coordinates. Titans panel, right up here, my Titans bar, also has coordinates. Coordinates are very useful if you're trying to find a place and your friend says, oh, go to 6975. And that's where you're going to find the item. Um, down below, I have my chat interface. That's called Chatter. It basically logs all my stuff so I can scroll back up. I can also copy and paste if someone links me something. Like a URL. Um, below that, we have Bartender. Bartender's my customizable. I don't know. These are my guild perks, once again. Bartender is a customizable mini bar instead of using in the first video where you saw how I had no add-ons and you saw that blizzard art bar down there. It's not very movable but as you can see I have a little bar over here, one down here, a bar going across here, one here. You can actually see it better if I click on my bartender and then I'll highlight it and you can see how I have all my stuff done. Which is pretty nice. It's very helpful because I do not like how blizzard did theirs at all let me summon my pet because for some reason he is not summoned. There we go, that's better. Slush. He's a good little wolf. We have our recount which tells us how much DPS we do. Recount's very useful if you're gonna go into a raid and they say well you need to have so much DPS. I really particularly like it because then also when you're in dungeons you can tell who's being fail and who's not by that. We have sexy map up here. Sexy map's one of my favorites. It makes the little map interface a little bit nicer. This one we're not going to get much into because it's more for Cataclysm. It's called Rob Boss Mod. I currently found this and I like it quite a bit because it actually lets me post the tactics of the boss that we're fighting. So if someone's new in the group, it helps out quite a bit. That's about it for our add-ons that we have. There's not much more to say about them, except that they make your life easier, like I said before. You don't have to have any add-ons to make the game experience better. It's just if you choose to or not. Okay. As I said, add-ons, you don't really need them. They're very helpful in dungeons and raids. Um, speaking of dungeons, we are going to come back next time once 
Flish hits level 15. And we're actually going to show you what it's like to queue in a random dungeon. They can be quite entertaining. You never really know what kind of people you're going to get and what servers you're going to get because we actually have some Latin American servers. Ragnaros and Quel'Thalas. Um, and it, it's just an experience, especially when you have a language barrier going on. Sometimes people are new and they don't quite understand what they're doing. So we will see you next time in that episode.